I had a uh, email from a client that needs to understand a couple things on his website, so I figure I help out a few other people in the process. Um, basically, we're using something called Moss. What is it called? Moss Sets Tree? Mo yeah, Mo Moss Sets Tree. Um, basically, what this uh, guy is doing is he's taking a um, contact form. And he gets a lead from here and then turns it into a, uh, well, basically he's turning it into work for someone else. So let's get started on this. Basically, what the way it starts off is this way. <coughs> Excuse me. A um, potential lead would come in and they would write in their name, put their email, their phone number, the type of project that they would want to do. Um, and then, you know, when they want to get it done, the address, and then any additional information. They send it off. It sends an email to the owner of this website. Once the owner of this website gets the email, he goes now, he has a free lead. So the leads basically get put into a tree, which um, is located right here under components, under Mossets tree. So you just hover over components, go to Mossets tree, um, and then here's all the different stuff you can use here all the different uh, service uh, categories so to speak so um, basically um, you would just put it into one of these ones here so let's like walk you through this here let's just say you get a uh, a person puts in their information and they put in that they have an audio system that needs to be put in this will fire off an email right so then that email goes to the email address is associated with this contact form. Um, once this person gets this, um, then they can go and take that lead, and then they put the lead inside uh, one of these. So let's say it was an audio thing, so we would click audio here, and then you would have uh, your listing that's right here in the left hand corner of your audio um, category. So you'd click add listing. And you would type in the name of the service. Let's just say someone needs a um, audio. Let's just call it a stereo system. Stereo system install. And then you would just put down that it needs. I don't know whatever uh, speaker wire ran um, home. Uh, TV and stereo connected. I mean, it really could be anything that you want. <clears throat> um, and then in this case, they could put down the actual address, but for this particular person, what they're just going to want to do is just put the city, state, and maybe the, the zip code. So since we're in the Las Vegas area, let's just say 89117. Uh, in the state of Nevada and then once you do that it'll it'll automatically populate over here in the map you click locate map it puts it over here um, in his particular situation he doesn't want to actually go and put um, where everything is exactly at because he wants them to be able to contact um, himself to be able to get the um, the the lead um, or he could go and uh, send someone into the website uh, on the front end, which I'll show you in a second, and um, have them um, contact this person. Um, additionally, they could put the phone number in there. Whatever else that you needed to put in there is here. Um, really, that's pretty much all it calls for for adding the listing. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's pretty simple. So we're just going to save this listing. I'm going to delete this when it's done, but we're going to save this listing. And so now you have a stereo system install, um, and then it's published inside the audio section of the front end of the, um, the website. So you go to the front of the website, and um, typically you won't see this. You have to log in. In this particular case, um, we set it up to where all you have to do is click the, uh, the login button down here. So you would as a contractor you would log in and then you would click your leads once you're logged in it shows you your leads 
and it shows you, shows you the leads button. Then you click that, and then once you're in here, it shows you what services are actually there. And since uh, this client hasn't really been using this, there's really no services yet. So that's why I'm uh, kind of just kind of briefly going through this. So you click on the stereo install system or stereo system install, and it gives you a breakdown of what it is and it shows you where it's at. And then it could have the phone number. So let's just put something in here for now so you can kind of see what it looks like because this is actually a really cool system. So let's just put um, it's uh, 555, 555, 555, email my email at whatever, at mail.com. Um, if they had a price that they wanted to stay around, you could put a price in there, like 45 bucks, I don't know, whatever. Um, if they had a picture, you could add a picture in here. Um, I'm just going to grab anything. Um, and, you know, you could pretty much fill any of this out. So it's really up to you. Um, so you just go and do that. Then you click apply. And then you go back here and you refresh. And then now it has um, the phone number, the address. You would put the customer information in here. Does it have a name or something? Uh, you could put in here the customer's name and all the other stuff like that. Um, so there, it's pretty flexible on what you can do with it. So you have a few different things you can do with it. It shows you where it's at. Um, you could uh, actually put their address. Um, I mean, this 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 type of uh, plugin can be used in so many different ways. I mean, this is just one way of using it. Um, you could use it as a directory. You can use it like as a public directory. In this case, this is used in kind of a more of a creative manner. It's not being used as like a regular directory. It's being used more for uh, a contractor type of thing where someone can come in and take a look and see if there's any leads for them. Um, so with that being said, that's how that works. Um, in my next video, I'll show you how to sign up people. Um, but yeah, this that's how this part of it works. You basically go into your um, MOSETS tree, and then once you're in your MOSETS tree, you just add your listing, and then you can put it in any one of these uh, categories. If you needed a new category, you could always just add a new category here, make it right here, uh, make sure that it's approved and published, click save, and then it's saved. So that's what's pretty much the way that it works. Um, once you get all that situated, um, when someone logs in, uh, they're good to go. They they see the leads button, they can log in and everything. Um, and like I said, no, you know, sites aren't really built the same for everybody, so it's kind of different you know per person um, like I said with this one you have to log in um, I am currently logged in if I'm logged out it doesn't show me that see it doesn't say leads here so if I'm lo if once I log in now I have the leads button so um, basically in this particular case you'd have to sign up someone um, and then they would go and log in once they log in, they see the, see their leads button. They click their leads button, and now they can see whatever um, you know. If they're a handyman, they could do just about anything on this list here. Um, but they could go and find leads, uh, and that's basically how that works. So, uh, if you have any other questions about this, uh, let me know. Um, it is kind of an older version of Joomla. This is um, where is it? <clears throat> oh, one point five point. Two six, so it's kind of a rather old version of Joomla, but they still have it for the newer version. Um, this is actually an old build that we did a few years back for this client. But um, if you have any other questions for it, just uh, leave it at the bottom, and I'll try to help out. Or you can always give us a call, and uh, we can walk you through different things. And uh, if you need any other other services, we are always around. So uh, thank you for watching our screencast.